This is the Balok River, a very important mangrove habitat in Malaysia. And liners will be dumping 500 tons an hour of its so-called treated wastewater. But the treated water will still have contaminants and it will affect the fishermen downstream and the people who frequent this area for recreational activities. What is the, the, the major concern of the people of Kuantan about the building of this rare earth plant by an Australian company by the name of Linus? The world's largest rare earth plant has been built in Kuantan or near Kuantan and yet nobody had been consulted about it. Um, they have not given the consent, they did not know anything about it um, and they will not allow a rare earth plant to be constructed in Malaysia, not only just in Kuantan but anywhere in Malaysia. Rare earth processing is very very toxic. And in China where rare earth processing and mining had been happening in huge scales. There are villages and area where the ecological disaster and the health impact is so bad that these places has have to be evacuated. The company uh, is uh, exporting the, 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 uh, the, the ore from Australia but they're choosing to build a refinery in Malaysia. What's the reason for this? Because rare earth processing is so polluting, it will take years for Linus to get its license and approval to have the refinery in Western Australia or anywhere in Australia. But in Malaysia, they were able to get the approval done within two weeks. I mean, that's ridiculous. Also, the, the cheap labor cost um, and materials uh, in a country like Malaysia makes it extremely attractive. Um, the icing on the cake for Linus is they pay no tax to the Malaysian government or to the country. Whereas in Australia, they'll have to pay federal taxes, state taxes, and the newly introduced carbon tax. How, what will be some of the uh, possible impacts on, on life of people who live there? I have been to the plant um, several times. What shocked me is next to the plant there is this river called the Balok River where liners will be discharging 500 tons of its waste water every hour. This river is an important mangrove habitat for Malaysia and as we know, um, mangrove is a very important fishing, uh, uh, fish breeding and spawning grounds. Many people live, who live downstream near the river mouth fish from um, the river mouth in the sea, in the South China Sea, but they also uh, catch uh, shellfish like crabs and you know mussels and a whole lot of other uh, seafood in the mangrove um, floodplains and of course that river flows into the South China Sea and that part of the South China Sea um, is a major fishing ground for Malaysia and on top of that tourism along the coast is a growing um, industry so we essentially um, threatening and uh, to wipe out a um, uh, a high employment industry that is clean, that is beneficial for Malaysia um, from this tax-free, dirty operation from Australia. You give me an idea of, of, uh, of, of the sort of things people have done to make their, their views clear? They have tried every avenues possible through the court, um, by appealing the licensing uh, decision, by um, you know ch taking Linus um, to task through public protests in the streets, in uh, Kuantan, in Kuala Lumpur, uh, even outside the Australian High Commission, um, appealing to the Australian public, coming to Australia, to Sydney and to Perth, to protest and to try and raise awareness amongst Australians about this 
um, irresponsible corporations trying to do it cheap and dirty and quick in a developing country like Malaysia. And um, they're continuing to pursue legal avenues, both in Australia and in Malaysia, to try and uh, stop and stall this project. Come and join us to solve violence.